Members, non-members, we are here for another Highlight ESPN MIC Play Week, whatever you want to call this. This is the highlights for the week, guys, and I'm so excited to get into this as it's kind of a different structure this week. Before I start with everything, guys, i got to say, uh, this is me in front of my setup directly. Uh, just text this number if you have any questions. I'm going to keep this up throughout the, uh, the video, but check this out, guys. So, a couple updates. Alex was actually, it was his birthday week last week, so what he did was he actually took this week off. We almost never take days off in MIC. We've been going five years since 2018, and every now and then, man, we just need some time to relax. So, Alex had the best time ever at Disney with his lovely lady. And, uh, and so, yeah, so the team was still banging because we have 25 plus moderators, three mentors and <laughs> thousands of students and members. So guys, the fun never stops. And just to give you an idea of what it looks like, this was the watch list every single day curated by Tom Diesel, who simultaneously does it with Alex. But if Alex is out, you can see on Monday, he was talking about the lines. He was talking about the levels Tuesday, you know, Tom Diesel is here to give you these levels as well. But this week, instead of the watch list so much, I actually want to focus on Bow's trading and the examples that he did. And here's the thing, guys, you have to understand about these videos. When I show you like one of Bow's charts or maybe seven because you know he trades everything, there are 10,000 more I could show you and 10,000 more testimonials. But I do like to keep these uh, videos uh, a little bit short as they're really just a highlight. But let's actually go through Bow's trades. Let's kind of highlight Bow this week on what he did throughout the week. So we are on Monday the 19th and we're gonna go to PRPL, one sec. So if you guys see right here, if I go to, I'm gonna go to a 20 day chart. Uh, so we're on a 20 day chart guys and you can see the date right here. So obviously the 19th, so you can see I'm scrolling right here, it goes to the 19th, this is that day. So Bao did exactly what he does best. He waited for outer lines and I'm gonna actually give you in a couple of these charts guys, I'm gonna give you an updated version as well. So here's PRPL as well. You can see that Bao shorted the outer lines, waited for the top to happen, waited, ex this is Bao's bread and butter, guys. You have to understand this is how you trade correctly. And this is actually called being a contrarian in the micro, not the macro. So in the macro, if you short something that's just up all day and expected to go down, that's actually really bad. You know, you see the forest for the trees. I talk about this a lot. Bao is doing what he does the best. Outer lines for the first real scalp, once it puts in a top, guys, you have to understand he will be on the next leg back up to resistance, and then he'll just wait for that resistance point again based on this resistance based on this one. So, you know, you are using um, the previous resistance and or a channel that's being set up. So that's how he did PRPL. I loved it. I thought he was really well done. And now let's take a look at SINT as these are the highlights of uh, Monday for Bao. So let's go to the 20 day chart again. Okay, and we'll scroll back to, oh, I'm sorry, SNTI, SNTI. I was like, that doesn't look right. So SNTI, we're gonna scroll back to the 19th and what you're gonna see right here is exactly the same thing we do every day, guys. The line in question is, you guys guessed it, literally, if you've been watching these, it's this. Because in pre-market, what it did was it set up a, well, it set up a big top right here, guys, but it set up resistance point, resistance point, and then these are resistance points during the day if you want to use them for short. So again, when you're shorting, if you're not waiting for bounces up to resistance levels, you're actually doing yourself a disservice. Remember, the in-between stuff doesn't matter. It's waiting for your appropriate line. So if I go to actually scent number two, what you're going to see is Bao hit that line exactly again on the previous resistance, his bread and butter, made some money, did good. The last one on Monday is blue. Let's take a quick look at blue. That was the 19th again, so that was right here. As you guys can see, super broken down stock. Bao did, the, Bao did right there at VWAP as the short. I think it was really good, uh, just following trend down. So when you guys see this, it's super broken, so following the trend down. Now let's take a look at a couple members as I want to go through these quickly as I have a million of them, <laughs> but guys, Ant Mizuko shorted SNTI, did great, just like Bao did, like I just showed you. Phil S S N T I. when our members have the exact same charts as the mentors, guys, you know something's right. Trent Long coming in with a freaking $2,300 Monday. Kid's like 20 years old. 
Uh, P.O. is just crushing on everything these days. I see the consistency of this guy. I'm really happy for him. Uh, Steven is actually giving a big shout out to Ruta. Listen to this, guys. 12 green days in a row following her plan. So Ruta is a brand new member, you know, a couple months old, and she's just on an absolute tear right now. Now let's go to Tuesday. So we're looking at Tuesday the 20th. And the first one in question is VTAC, VTAQ, and let's see, 20 right here. So as you guys can see, you know, it's up the day before, bow shorts exactly what, <laughs> exactly the outer lines, guys. You know, like, this is not rocket science. This is what we do, right? The reason why I wanted to showcase this one, his little loss right here, is I love what bow did on this one, guys, is you have to understand that stopping out is a win as well because these things can go as high as you want so again it you know mic we teach risk management i think it's really important so this is why i actually wanted to show that i thought that was really important to say like look we don't win on every single trade but once it topped out bow did exactly what he's really good at he totally reattacked it followed it down and uh waited for you know the resistance level to test once it put in that top and once it was kind of breaking down so you guys get an idea of like how this works even in taking losses it's just part of the game it's just part of the game what do we have s h p h on the uh, 20th right here and bow just did exactly a low hanging fruit a little bit of liquid so he probably wasn't sized in too heavily but that's as simple as that then you have m jam let's look at this m jam on the 20th so that's going to be right here guys i just want to make sure i'm on the exact date for you guys so you can follow along you know Bow does exactly what he did. Again, resistance set up, resistance, resistance, resistance. He waits for these push back in resistance after it made a top in the morning. Like, it, it doesn't get much better than that, guys. You can start your day with one or two scalps and just absolutely annihilate it and make anywhere from supplemental income to full-on income, which a lot of our mods have done. And then I, and then I already showed you the, the uh, V-Rax loss and then re-attack into a win. Now, let's see what the members did on Tuesday. There's so many charts to go through. We just have endless success stories. It's crazy. Ryan Conley, awesome, awesome, awesome long on MJM. Just because Bow might be shorting MGAM, guys, does not mean that there's not a long edge as well. Like, for instance, right here, Gil is shorting it while, while you know, Ryan was longing. They both made money because they waited for their lines. Wolf always seems to pike, but he's doing a hell of a job trading. And if his pikes are, you know, bad, then I don't want to be good, man. This guy's killing it. So <laughs> he's doing great. Jester, MJAM as well, guys. All of our members' charts are starting to look like Bows and Alex's. I mean, that's the whole point. VTAC, just like Bows, wait for those outer lines. How sick is that? Michael Davis is on a freaking tear right now. Dude, shout out Michael Davis. This kid turned his account, I think, if I'm not mistaken, he'll have to, he might have to correct me on this, but I think it was like 15K, guys. He's up, he's up near like 50K. Like, this guy's killing it. Um, Masticoli coming in with a $237 day. Little update. Alex is super happy at Disney World with his lady. Super fun. Happy birthday, Alex. And uh, let's see, that's Tuesday. Let's go into Wednesday, guys, where I do... And some of these were actually posted during the new member webinar, which I give each week. Um, guys, every single Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time, I give a new member orientation webinar. The first half is actually for members to learn our whole trading system, how to get acclimated and stuff. But then I bring Bao on for the second half. So if you guys are not a member, you got to tune in those. And it's so cool because Bao does a ton of live trading, a ton of examples. And um, what we'll see is on the 21st, Bao has some of those examples here. So again, resistance level set up. These are resistances to short into the intraday because pre-market has already set that up. These are what's called waiting for the outer line, not hitting right here, waiting for those previous resistances to set up. Very cool. That's blue. Let's go to SL. And you guys already know what I'm going to say on this. Like, it, guys, it goes without saying. I swear to God. Like, if you know MIC process, you know exactly how this works. So how does it work? A big rush up parabolic. Be safe because there's a lot of volatility and um, decent amount of liquidity. But, you know, not a crazy amount, but decent amount. But a lot of volatility, guys. Look at the numbers. 12 to freaking 6. So you have to be careful on the first jump. But once it sets up, then... God, this push back up to outer lines, it's it's a no-brainer. It's just a no-brainer short. Um, back to Vrax, you know, again, when one stock is in play, 
um, you know, one day or two days or three days, guys, like obviously this is, you know, this is going to be in play for the next two days. That's what I'm saying is Thursday and Friday. I think Bow is even playing in some of the members. But again, you know, doesn't mean that the next day there's not going to have opportunity right here. But Bow doing what he does best, hitting the channel all day. Um, let's see. Evax was one that he absolutely smoked. We talked about this on the webinar live. In fact, I still have arrows from the webinar. Check that out. Puts in a top pre-market. Bow shorting right here. Come the open, just loading, loading the boat, covering and paying himself all the way down on a broken stock with no volume. I, I guys using literally the 350 whole and half dollar number as a reject. It does not get better than that. It does not get more clean than that. Um, let's go to Wednesday. And I think we have some Alex updates as well. Guys, look at this. This was posted in the After Hours chat. I just thought, how fun. How could you not want to be a part of MIC? This is us in Provo with our freaking broker success trader. Like, dude, we just have a good time. Like, how could you not want to be a part of this? Um, Trend supporter coming in with a short on SOBR. Awesome freaking job. Uh, Wolf, again, probably complaining about Piken, but he did a fantastic job. Um, you know, let's see. David, LT. I wanted to showcase this, guys, because, again, every now and then someone's going to lose. Look at that stop. That could have gone so much lower, and he makes sure that his count, his account is protected, and that is as equal importance as a win. Guys, you have to make sure when you're wrong, you're wrong small. And then Joseph absolutely smoked HKD on this long. I mean, unbelievable. Just un And then here's an update. Alex's girl is having a heart attack. He's a total adrenaline junkie, having the time of his life, and these two scumbags need to join MIC. No, I'm just kidding. I have no idea who these guys are. They could be a part of a better. It's all good. But, hey, come to MIC and your thumbs are up. But, dude, how, fu how funny is that? <laughs> I just, the comparison of Alex, like, having the time of his life and his girl looking like she wants to cry. Oh, man, shout out them. They have a lot of fun. All right, guys, that brings us to Thursday. So the first one, again, this is what I'm talking about of stocks being in play again. Vrax again. So Bow was coming off the 21st on Wednesday into the 22nd, which is right here. What does it do? You know, when a stock is in play, guys, it's in play, whether it's day one, day two, day three, has a dead cat bounce back up. And let's see what Bow's doing. He's doing exactly what he waits for. Resistance to top out, and then he waits for the outer line come the open. Guys, it's as simple as that. So we're talking in this general area right there. So that's what you should be paying attention to. Next one is going to be um, SPRO. Let's bring that up for the 22nd. Um, that is going to be right here, obviously, because that's the only one up. And uh, Bao crushed it. Bao crushed it. Followed it, you know, down in the morning and made some money. And guys, this is what I'm talking about. Like, avoid all of this. Like, guys, just make your money in the morning and and just jam. Go to your go to your real job. <laughs> go go to your career. If you're a dentist or something, go to work. Make your money in trading. Make your scalp a day, and then go to your job. Don't quit your job. Dual income, man. Uh, Low hanger, guys, low hanger, exactly what we plan every single day on a day one, day two, or day three, especially day two or day three. They're low hanging fruit, bow catches the outer line, and low hanging fruit falls it down. This is not, this is not rocket science, guys. This is why I kind of wanted to show you in kind of like a quick speed everything about this and how simple you guys can make this. Dead, dead cat balance on Pixie, bow shorted the parabolic into the previous resistance levels, outer lines of the day before, as you can see. Um, what does he do? He covers on the wash, pays himself, and just keeps covering out. Uh, simple. It's very simple. Very self-explanatory. Um, B can. Let's pull that up. B can on the 22nd, uh, which is going to be right on this day. I know it doesn't it doesn't look like much and sometimes it's not guys but again again you know a really dead stock like if you look for the week really dead right it was up and then it just bled 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 this is a total pump dead cat bounce uh, you know intraday actually in the middle of the day and uh bow shorted basically the red to green scaled it um using the five line the whole and half dollar which we use and then and then just covered and then shorted again on a breakdown it's, it's simple simple and sick let's go to the members let's see what the members were doing um, Rockman, SLNG, short, crushed it. PO, just crushing it with BEAT. Just, I'm telling you, man, this guy's, this guy's coming, he's really coming along. So is Wolf. Wolf, awesome, awesome job. Romero on the long, nice, on S SPRO, got the long on that one. Very nice. Ruta, one and done, shorted right here, covered right there. Ruta is slowly becoming one of the most consistent traders we have. Uh, but she's getting it, man. Look, she's absolutely getting it. The next one is uh, Steven giving a big shout out to Tinpu. Remember Tinpu, more wins than he has losses. And these charts didn't used to look like this. This guy is getting more consistent by the week. 
that's what our members are doing. And then Alex just, you know, being the boss that he is. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, what, what's the name of that one? Bumblebee again? Yeah, it's been a while. Very cool. Very cool. Very nostalgic. Uh, but I think that's definitely a highlight, don't you? Let's go to Bao's trade. Actually, no. Bao was actually out, guys, on Friday. Today, I wanted to highlight some moderators. So check this out, guys. If Bao is out, if Alex is on vacation, if both of them are sick, this is why we have a full moderator team. So James was crushing on LITM today. I mean, just just awesome. Use the three line. Just wonderful, man. Just awesome job. So we're coming on ATXI, guys. Let's pull that up today. This, these are the mods, guys. We have 25 plus mods, three mentors. Everybody is here to help you. And all of our charts, all of the charts, the mods, the members, and, and the mentors, like, guys, they look alike. They mirror each other. And there's a reason for that. We teach the exact same style that has made Bao and Alex, you know, super profitable throughout the last, well, Bao, 20 years and, and the last decade for Alex. So let's take a look at, or we're already on ATXI. Let's see what Stefan did. Stefan, Nether Junior Mod. Awesome job. The morning spike, exactly what you should do on a downtrending stock, outer lines. Uh, Tom actually got a long on this, and then he short. I think that's a short there. He started there, but Tom actually got a short on this. So as you guys can see, got a long in the morning, and then uh, and then play short. But very nice, you know, ambidextrous every now and then. And then Tyler, SPRO, one of our uh, another junior mod. Let me pull that up for you. Guys, use them like nail and bail. One and done. Go to work. Like this is the power of consistency. This is the power of MIC. Now, really quick, guys, let me actually pull up chat to show you a couple things that I think are super cool. So like I show every single week, every day we have a watch list. You know, Tom D Alex is out right now, but Tom Diesel's posting it. Then in the main trading chat, you have commentary, you have fills, you have moderators, you have warnings, you have charts, you have uh, <laughs> James posting funny stuff like margin income and call. This is the power of community. And then guys, if you go to after hours, what you're going to see right here is members and moderators hanging out, talking, shooting the stuff, you know, uh, Vic at dinner, Joe Kelly drinking drinks, like not grilling. That's a shock, but uh, having a good time. Me explaining something at Provo in a bar, you know, that was a lot of fun. Probably talking about margin call. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But this is a great time, right? So you guys can see, uh, apparently this is the only way that Tom Diesel will exercise a kind of what looks to be a Dandles area in kind of way. So shout out Tom Diesel and exercising. Let's go to myinvestingclub.com, guys. I want to show you a couple things. Check this out. So first things first is on the website. You're going to click the top right corner button, guys. You're going to fill this out. And this is going to go to my Google Calendar. And we're going to be able to book a call one-on-one. -on -one. So again, guys, if you have immediate questions, text 213-458-5997. This is going to go to my business line or email or actually just do both. So if you want to join MIC, if you feel like you're losing or you're taking losses and you're not consistent, you're not profitable, guys, this is the community for you. And I just showed you so many members and moderators and people doing the same exact thing because it works. So MIC process works. It's just if you have a work ethic and if you want to take the plunge in actually getting out of your comfort zone if you are you know which this is a lonely career or you are a little bit shy or you're a little bit stuck in your habits or your routine not only is mic a write-off guys i think it's a wonderful opportunity to call um you know this place a second home and do not hesitate to book a call and or text my line so we can uh, get your questions answered and i will see you next week guys